Hi there. Welcome back to Patterns and Podcasts for Knitters. My name is Renee and I am your host on this YouTube channel. And the purpose of this channel, if you, I know you, hopefully you watched the first video or some videos because I'm going to post a lot at once. Um, the purpose is to help knitters find a particular episode of a knitting podcast on YouTube that is of special interest to you and also to discover new podcasts and you may become like a fan forever. I've done that many times when I hit upon a podcaster who really resonates with me and is helpful and fun. Um, but um, that's the whole purpose of this of this um, channel. So patterns and podcasts for knitters. This is episode two. Today we are featuring YouTube videos of finished objects that are cardigans. Oh, I just love cardigans. They are so pretty and so useful. Don't we all have our favorite that we kind of wear to death? Um, and also, so there are seven finished object cardigans. And then uh, I have one inspirational video that's a lot of fun. That's going to be the first one that we cover. And then there is a very good tutorial on how to convert a pullover to a cardigan. So that's interesting. Anyway, so let's get started. Again, I won't be playing the videos, uh, just doing screenshots of particular episodes. And um, you can decide, and then I'll give you the exact information on how to get to an episode that might interest you. And also, please use the comments to help other knitters find episodes that you enjoy. Or if you are a fan of any of these podcasters, let us know about it. Um, and we will have a fun comments contest, too. So anyway, let's get started. So here are our seven podcasters that will be featuring their finished objects. Again, they are cardigans. Um, also, the inspirational video is up there in the corner. Stitching the High Notes podcast will cover her first. And then the very last one, number nine down there in the lower right corner, is the Roxanne Richardson podcast on um, converting a pullover to a cardigan. So again, this is episode two, and let's get started. I had said that before, but I'll say it again. So first up, this is Joanna. She is the host of Stitching the High Notes. And I just happened to cross this episode. I hadn't followed Stitching the High Notes in the past. I think the name Stitching the High Notes came from the fact that she originally was from Colorado. I'm not sure about that. Could be wrong, could be right. Um, but I happened to cross this episode and she gets into this pretty early on. She does a little chit chat about her life and um, good stuff like that. I don't think she covered any knitting in this podcast. She just got into all of her excitement because she had just received the Pom Pom Quarterly Magazine. Uh, it's issue 42, 2022. I'm recording this in September 2022, so this would be fresh news for everybody. And I just picked out a couple of the cardigans that are featured, but there were 16 patterns featured in this current edition. I love Pom Pom Magazine. I've never subscribed. I might consider it, and I'm not, I don't do commercials for anything. And I don't work for Pom Pom or Google or YouTube or anything, but um, I did happen to go to the website to get a picture of this cover, the Pom Pom cover that I had posted here. And it's like 17 euros a year for a subscription. And they'll mail you a copy, I think, four times a year. And of course, now at this current recording, um, the dollar is equivalent to the euro. So with 17 euros, so I guess I'd be, you know, under $20 to subscribe. So anyway, I might consider that. I haven't done it, but I might consider it. So anyway, this is Joanna stitching the high notes, and she takes you through this entire edition. Um, she's, she's just showing the pictures, and I know this is already up on the Internet, so she's not giving away any secrets, but I absolutely love this episode. Okay, so correction, 
I looked really quick at the Pom Pom website and it's actually, that is per issue. So if you just wanted to get one issue, um, it is the 17 something uh, euros. But if you wanted to subscribe for the whole year and get all of their issues, it's more like $52 or that would be probably nearly 52 euros a year. So anyway, sorry about that. But anyway, so back to Joanna. I love the way she reacted to this whole magazine. She was so excited. Every other design she looked at, she was going to knit for sure until she got to this sweater. And this, this photo, this screenshot from her podcast is Joanna reacting to the first time she looked at this sweater and she absolutely loved it. And it is beautiful. I mean, the colorway, I guess you would call that what? I don't know, orangey, peachy, rust, and beige or tan. Um, I know it's not a cardigan, but I'm making an exception because I just wanted to show you how Joanna reacted. And also, um, just, uh, just another example of the beautiful designs in this Pom Pom Magazine issue. Um, Joanna loved it because it's knitted in the round. Um, and also that little, it's almost like a little checkered border at the bottom, at the hem is really really pretty um so anyway again this is a really fun episode joanna has a lot of personality and um along with the, the inspiration that uh pom pom magazine and others like it can give us it is kind of fun to watch how she reacts to um to seeing it for the first time so that is stitching the high notes podcast on YouTube with your host Joanna. So here is how you get to this episode in particular. The title is, and, and Joanna puts those little um, icons in there, those little graphics in there. It's a review of Pom Pom Quarterly number 42 and a cozy book REC. I think that might have meant reference. I'm not sure. It's her vlog, video log, 171, and she posted this September 4th, 2022. Again, the name of her uh, podcast is Stitching the High Notes. She, I can't believe I haven't discovered her before. She has over 11,000 subscribers. She has been podcasting since 2016, and she has over a million views. I know she podcasts from the USA, and she talks a lot about her family. Again, I think I've watched two whole episodes of Stitching the High Notes, but I definitely will go back and um, get to know her a little bit better. She's a lot of fun. Okay, next up, and now we can get down to business on our cardigans. This is Rebecca. Rebecca is the podcaster behind, I hope I pronounce this right, Crebea Knitting. I've heard her say it many times, and I'm not remembering now exactly how she says it, but Crebea Knitting is the name of her podcast. She podcasts from Edinburgh, Scotland. I've been there. It's a beautiful city. And um, she's an amazing knitter. She's really very, very good. She does a lot of test knits. Um, she will take on any type of a project, it seems. In this case, she knitted the Maya Cardigan. The Maya Cardigan is by Helene Magnuson. And it's, as you can see, it's very colorful, very beautiful. But Rebecca decided to knit it twice. This is the second one, and I do have a photo of the first one she knitted and each time she just did it in two colors she I mean it is beautiful but you know everybody's different maybe for the way she likes to dress it's a little too colorful for her but she did it this second one in Bordeaux and two balls of white so she did seven balls of the Bordeaux yarn uh, and I'll show you better photos of it and two balls of white and it's 100% Icelandic yarn and she did talk about the yarn. She said that it was very affordable. I think she said it was less than $29. Oh, excuse me, 29 pounds total. Um, but she did have quite extensive changes uh, in the pattern.
This is a free pattern, and usually when it's a free pattern, the um, the knitter can go into a little bit more detail on things, and she does. She spends a lot of time in this video uh, talking about um, how she did it. I do think that the two color is striking, the burgundy and uh, creamy white. It's really pretty. And um, she, of course, is an excellent knitter, and she knows what she's doing. She really was was proud of the buttons. She has pewter buttons. And I am noticing in all these cardigan uh, projects that buttons seem to either be pewter or they seem to be, um, or I should say metal or wood that seems to be most popular right now. Uh, it is a bit off subject, but there is such a thing as dorset buttons. And I was am a big fan of fruity knitting. I've watched all the fruity knitting episodes and I remember, I actually looked it up, episode 65 of Fruity Knitting, um, Andrea, who's the host of Fruity Knitting, she uh, interviewed a woman who is very well known in England for producing dorset buttons. And dorset buttons are just amazing. They're done with little pieces of yarn and they're like knitted. They're really interesting. Anyway, I will look up that episode and in one of the future episodes, I'll be sure to feature Dorset Buttons. But back to the Maya Cardigan uh, by Helene Magnuson and Rebecca, who is the Crea Bea Knitting podcaster. Um, I think this is a beautiful sweater, a lovely cardigan, very classic looking. I do like the sleeves with the white cuffs. I think that's really pretty. Here's the pattern information. Again, um, Maya Cardigan by Helene Magnuson. It is a free um, pattern and it is the cardigan version. Um, and I don't know, there's a whole, not a whole lot to say about it. It looks pretty standard in terms of uh, the information there. And here's how to get to this episode in particular if you're interested in learning more about this um, pattern and about uh, Rebecca in particular. Uh, as I do a little, she did have a shot of the gray cardigan, and that is the pullover version. So she took the cardigan pattern, converted it to a pullover, uh, her very first one she knit was the gray and white one she's showing there, and then she did the, um, I'm going to call it burgundy and white as her second effort, and that one she did in the cardigan. But if you go to episode six, and it's it's she doesn't mention this cardigan at all in it, so you kind of have to use these words to find it. Episode six, chaotic gift knits, festive sweater, and London yarn shop haul. And then the Crea Bea Knitting Podcast, Episode 2, Another No Frills, Magnolia Bloom, and Christmas Knits. The Episode 2 is where she casts the sun and starts talking about it. And Episode 6 is where she shows it as a finished object. Again, Crea Bea Knitting Podcast. Um, she has over 10,000 subscribers. She's only been on YouTube since 2021 and has over 360,000 views. Again, she podcasts from Edinburgh, Scotland. And, you know, a lot of times knitters um, have trouble understanding the, the Scottish brogue, but I don't at all with um, Rebecca. She speaks very clearly. She sits right next to her window there in Edinburgh, and um, she's very delightful, and she's also a very good knitter. Next up is Bella, also known as Isabella Clark, and uh, Bella hosts the 100 Acre Wool podcast on YouTube. She's based in the U.S. She's a very talented knitter, and she's a very good podcaster, too. I love listening to her. She's very clear, um, and she's also a budding designer. I went to her Ravelry page, and she has three patterns on Ravelry, so she's just getting started. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, in this episode, she really celebrates finishing the Yell cardigan by Marie Wallen. This is a beautiful cardigan. Um, it's so complicated. It's an all-over color pattern. Um, 
but she's up for it and she did a beautiful job she had a little trouble with the collar she does talk about having to block it a couple times and I wouldn't even call it a collar I guess it would be called the I don't know what you would call that the it's not ribbing it's the the button band I guess you would call it um, but I think the colors she chose are beautiful and um, she was so excited to get this finished this is a really excellent episode if you are thinking of knitting uh, this particular pattern. Bella takes a lot of time to go through the details of it. Um, there are many of her Instagram group followers who have this one on their bucket list and um, Bella really is very helpful. She's offered to help you know using email or any kind of communication if they get stuck. Um, she used the recommended yarn which is the Jamesons of Shetland Spindrift. Um, the colorway goes from A to L. There are like 12 colors, which is daunting in itself. I would read the colors. There's Shayla, Shulmit, Moss, Muscat, Paprika, Camel, Tundra, Love Lovat, Thistle Down, Bramble, Yellow Ochre, and Laurel. I don't know what all those colors are. I don't think that those are the ones that Bella used. Her um, cardigan looks different from the model, but you know, if you're wondering about this and if you go to this episode, I'm certain you can communicate with her either on her Instagram page or in the comments and um, she'd probably help you out with that. But I think that, you know, I actually heard another reference to Juicy Knitting there was an, in another interview where Andrea was talking to somebody uh, whose colors were so fabulous. I mean, designers are amazing. They just always seem to get it right. And she was saying that you need to choose colors that are in the same tone. And I would say what um, Bella has done here is the colors she chose for this cardigan are in the same tone. She has contrast, I guess the dark green, but that's kind of a subtle color as well. I don't know, I'm not a color expert, but I know what I like when I see it, and this is very pretty. Here's the um, pattern information. I guess I could have saved my breath. There is the whole list of all the colors there. I can't forget, I forgot I popped that in there. So this um, is not a free pattern. It is available. It's published in Shetland Sweater dash cardigan it is available on Ravelry it is by Marie Wallen you probably have seen this uh, pattern many times or the sweater many times it's quite popular it was published in September of 2017 so it's become a classic in its own right but it is quite beautiful if you have the skills to do this what a beautiful uh, object to create and what a nice um, I, don't know, I don't want to call it a hand-me-down but it could become like an heirloom sweater for your family it's quite beautiful so here's how to get to this episode in particular the name of the podcast is hundred acre wool podcast on YouTube if you go to episode 33 my finished yell cardigan and first quilt which is awesome she has the name of it right there in her title and then another uh, episode you may want to dial up is podcast episode 27, 2022, Make Nine Plans and Hand Dyed Yarn Haul, January 16, 2022. I believe, I don't know if she cast it on there, but she was working on it there. And again, she talked quite a bit about some of the challenges with the pattern, but she loved it. She absolutely loved it. So, 100 Acre Wool, over she has 10,000 subscribers at this point in time um, she has only been on YouTube since 2020 has over 300,000 views again her name is Isabella Clark Bella for short and you can find her on Ravelry and on Instagram and um, she's lovely and a very good knitter and I do love this pattern Next up is Taylor Owen. Taylor Owen is a knitter, a yarn dyer, and a designer. 
And in this case, though, she turned to Stephen West and she knit the penguono. I don't know if I'm saying that right either. Penguono, maybe. Anyway, I had to look this up. I had to Google it. The penguono, penguono, is a fun short sleeve jacket during the day, but flip it upside down and it becomes a long dramatic coat for evening wear. Evidently, this is a well-established pattern in knitwear and Stephen West designed this quite a few years ago and Taylor Owen decided to take it on as a project and she did it. And this episode is really cute because she's so excited that she finished it. Taylor um, purchased her yarn from Webbs in New Haven, Connecticut. I plan to visit Webbs actually. Webbs is a um, huge yarn supplier in New Haven. Uh, they're probably online too. In fact, I'm sure they are. Um, and uh, she bought her yarn there because this project takes a lot of yarn and it takes a lot of, it looks like it's a um, bulk yarn. And um, she wanted to, I guess, do this without, you know, having to break the, break the bank. And that was a good plan. Um, Actually, and what happens is that, you know, Stephen West is amazing. He is known for his beautiful colors, his bright colors. But on this one, he just tells people, uh, he doesn't give you a colorway suggestion. He just tells you to pick beautiful yarns, pick yarns you love and put it together. What's cool about this is it is uh, knit in sections and you can see the, he has them numbered there and tells you how to put it together when you're finished. So it, it's probably one of these projects where you can just knit, knit, knit and not have to think about it until you're really finished and you put it together. But um, it's really kind of cool. I had never seen this before. I don't know. I'm like under a rock sometimes, but um, I love it. And uh, Taylor Owen, uh, she does have quite a few designs up on Ravelry. I think she's an upper comer, up and coming designer in the knitting world. So here she is. This is Taylor modeling her penguono. All finished. She's very excited about it. Um, she did choose a colorway that is, I think, a little bit more muted than what Stephen West uh, did in his. But it's really pretty and it does look like fun and it does look very warm and cozy. I do like the little um, little ribbing finish around the edge and it looks like it's in a little stripe. Um, really, really pretty. And she said it was a breeze to knit and she really enjoyed it. It's, just, it's a big beefy project, as you can see. But other than that, um, I think it'd be a lot of fun to do it. Here's the pattern information. Once again, Pen Penguono. <laughs> I have to hear him say it. I'll have to listen to find one of his videos. I don't remember how Taylor said it. Uh, Penguino by Stephen West. It's published in the West Knits, West Knits, Best Knits number two. Obviously, Stephen West, being such a well-established designer, you could go to his website and find it there. You could go to Ravelry and get it there. It is a cardigan, and this has been around a long time. He published this in March of 2014. What's fun in knitting, as in anything, is there's a new audience like every four or five years, there's a new audience. Um, I am going to be doing a, ver a um, episode of Patterns and Podcasts for Knitters featuring young knitters. I am so impressed with these young knitters, male, female, um, young people who've really gotten into knitting and are already very, very good, very, very established knitters in their own right. So anyway, um, this is the pattern information and um, it's probably be an awesome stash buster and also a great cardigan when you're finished with it. Here's how to get to this episode in particular. Once again, it's the Taylor Owen podcast on YouTube. Penguono by Stephen West. Uh, what is that called? A pipe line. A handmade wardrobe with slash Taylor Owen of the Thread to Mend Knitting Podcast. And oh yeah, by the way, 
She refers to her podcast on YouTube as Thread to Mend. However, Taylor Owen is pretty much how I find her when I'm looking for her, and she comes right up, and all of her videos do too. Um, she has over 10,000 subscribers. Uh, she does do some very sophisticated um, work, design, and knitting. And uh, I think she's a good podcaster to get to know if you don't know her already. Since 2009, so she's been on for quite a while, she has over 600,000 views. And again, it's Taylor E. Owen on Ravelry.com. And she also does have a shop on Etsy, but I did go to her shop. I didn't see a lot related to knitting. It was a lot of other items. But again, she's a very uh, fashionable young lady. And... Um, I think you're going to love knitting this sweater if you decide to do it. So anyway, that is Taylor Owen. This is Corinne Tomlinson. And Corinne is the owner of the Woolly Thistle. That is a yarn shop in the on the east coast of the U.S., kind of the New England area. And um, it started as a shop, but I believe now it's only online. And in this episode, Corinne is modeling her own design, because Corinne is also a knitwear designer. And this is the Victory Cardigan. This is an awesome cardigan for beginning knitters, or even established knitters who just want a basic, beautifully designed cardigan. Um, the Woolly Thistle, uh, as I said, is in New Hampshire. It's an online shop. And on her website, you can take a course. You can take a course in how to knit this cardigan in particular. Um, she designed the perfect cardigan. She did it three times. She created three prototypes to get it right. And um, the results speak for itself. I mean, this is a very popular pattern. It's well-fitting. Um, it's easy to fit, and I think what's really helpful is that Corinne has it uh, sized from 31 inches to 68 inches at the upper bust. So um, it's a pattern for everyone. It's a pattern for every woman um, or man. Wouldn't be a bad men's sweater either. Uh, and what's really cool, as I said, is that there's a course on the Woolly Thistle website that you can sign up for, and there are also kits. Now, sitting with Maggie uh, in the Woolly Thistle podcast pictured here is her marketing manager, Maggie, who actually has been with um, Corinne from the time she started the business, and they're really good friends, and um, Maggie is also an exceptional knitter. Every episode, Maggie is showing you a finished object in the sweater she has on in this. I think she talks about it in this episode as well. So the fun here is that you can order a kit and the course or the kit only or the course only. So you've got a lot of choices if you want to knit this cardigan. Um, the kits come with the buttons, these little pewter buttons, or metal buttons, I'm not sure if they're pewter, but they come with the buttons. Um, it's all packaged up with stitch markers and lots of fun stuff, but I think what's really exciting is that the color choices are just awesome. That basket uh, photograph up there on this page shows you the color choices you would have. Um, of course, you could do it in stripe, you could do it in many different ways, but it is really a classic looking cardigan, very well styled, um, as we said, in every um, size, so it would fit you to a T. And um, the Woolly Thistle sells premium yarns. Uh, you know, we have a lot of choices for yarns all over the world, um, but Corinne and her team are quite particular and um, they make sure to choose quality yarns of course but also the right yarn for the right project and she does talk about that quite a bit she has other team members that um, participate in the podcast and she also has a Shetland farm uh, in, on the island of Shetland 
and runs these little videos of, and I, I've only watched him briefly, but this woman who has a flock of sheep and kind of lets you in on the day-to-day -day of raising sheep. So there's a lot of variety in her in these podcasts, and um, I think they're fun. I've watched quite a few of them, and I do love, um, I love the variety, but I especially love the yarn ideas, and um, I think kits are a good idea because you know you're getting exactly what you need for a successful project. Here's the pattern information. <clears throat> you can go to the Wooly Thistle website to download it um, or to Ravelry. I don't think it's a free pattern. It could be free when you purchase yarn. I'm not quite sure, but you, you could figure that out pretty quickly if you go to the website. Again, it's the Victory Cardigan by Corinne Tomlinson. Uh, it is published in the Woolly Thistle Sweater catalog. I'm not sure what that is, but anyway, I would go to the website, best place. She does suggest this Rama Barnes yarn, uh, and um, all the information is there. But um, again, I think this is a real opportunity to knit a pretty cardigan that is going to be very useful. Nice design and... Um, Probably not, won't take too long to knit it and will last for a long, long time. So here's how you get to this episode in particular. Once again, we're talking about the Wooly Thistle podcast on YouTube. This They call it a shopcast, not a podcast. So it's shopcast number 157, victory cardigan kits and course plus selection boxes. I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't remember. I did watch this thing a couple times, but I forgot. So again, the Woolly Thistle has over 14,000 subscribers. Corinne and her team have been podcasting since September of 2014, and they've had almost a million views. So as you can see, yarn shops are pretty popular with us knitters. We love to shop. Um, so the thistle.com, Corinne Tomlinson on Ravelry.com. So she's easy to find. Go for it. Looks like a good opportunity to make a cardigan. Next up is Amber. Amber is the podcaster behind A Lovely Yarn. I like the name of that podcast. And she is holding up the Georgetown Cardigan. The Georgetown Cardigan features a beautiful shawl collar. And this is another one of those episodes where the knitter, Amber, was so happy to finish it. She was a little embarrassed over how long she had been working on it. She found the um, she found this pattern in a book called Home and Away Book. Uh, the pattern, Georgetown Cardigan, is by Hannah Fettig, F-E-T-T-I-G. And um, it is on Ravelry, so you won't have any trouble finding it. But Amber lives with her family in uh, the rolling hills of Pennsylvania. And oh my, they are rolling hills. I actually drove through Pennsylvania recently on my way to Rhinebeck, um, that area. Actually, I was really just going to the Hudson River Valley, but Rhinebeck is there. And um, it is a beautiful drive. But uh, she's lovely, and she's a good knitter. And this is a quite a sweater. It's big. It's big and very pretty and also looks warm, cozy, and practical. The yarn that um, Amber chose is called Cascade 220 Heathers in color 8401. So she's specific about the yarn she chose. It does look really soft, doesn't it? And she said it is soft. Um, you get the choice when you get this pattern to knit it mostly seamlessly or in pieces. She said, I remember in this podcast, that she had a better fit by knitting it in pieces. And she did an invisible join, and she was quite proud of that. I think she remembered, I remember her showing us the join and how neat it was. Um, she made the shawl collar bigger than the pattern called for. And I think it came out, it's really pretty. It doesn't look too big. It actually looks in proportion. I like her cuffs rolled up. Nice to have those long cuffs that you can cover your hands with. And I think, of course, the nice gray color 
is going to be a neutral. She'll probably get a lot of use out of it. It has pockets, which is fun. I think it has pockets. I'm not sure now. I can't see for sure from this photograph. But uh, anyway, she said in this video that she hadn't worn it yet, but she couldn't wait to start wearing it. Here's the pattern information, Georgetown by Hannah Fettig, F-E-T-T-I-G. This pattern has been around for quite a while. It was published first in April of 2015. Uh, it's in a home and away knits for everyday adventures. But uh, it is available on Ravelry because I went there to get this information. Uh, the suggested yarn is Quince & Company Owl, O-W-L. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, but it does look like it comes in a nice uh, range of sizes from chest circumference of 30 inch to all the way to 158.6 or those are centimeters oh no 30 inch that would be pretty big 30 inch all the way to 62 inches so that is um the georgetown by hannah fettig here is the uh, information on how to get to this episode in particular. It's a lovely yarn podcast on YouTube. Finished objects, full colon. Great. She actually says that in her title. Georgetown Cardigan by Hannah Fettig. Yarn, Cascade 220, Heathers in color 8401. So that was pretty easy for me to get that information. Uh, but also look at episode 29, a lovely yarn, episode 29, and a lovely yarn, episode 27, Quick, but lots of knitting. She, I believe, casts it on in 27, but she definitely talks about it in episodes 27 and 29, and then, of course, in the finished objects episode. Again, a lovely yarn. She has uh, over 7,500 subscribers, and she has been podcasting since 2018 and has almost 350,000 views. So, again, that is... Um, a lovely cardigan and would be a really fun project to do. This is Jessica McDonald. She is a designer and she and her husband and children live in a rural area in the western U.S. and um, she's a relatively new designer and I'm going to check but she, I don't think she's been up on um, YouTube for that long. She uh, designed the cardigan that she's wearing. She calls it the Snowberry. I like that name. It's the Snowberry. It's found on Ravelry and on her website. And um, she knitted this in bare naked wool. Name of the yarn is Stone Soup. It's a DK weight yarn. And the color here is called Marble. Um, uh, Jessica said in this uh, episode that this is the first time that she has done a collaboration with this yarn company, Bare Naked Wool, and she likes it because it's a small, uh, locally owned yarn company, and it's, uh, it's a woman who owns it, and she specializes in chemical-free and dye-free yarns. Uh, that she says uh, are environmentally friendly. I think that's great if you have sensitive skin. I mean, I hear so many, I don't have sensitive skin, at least I don't yet, <laughs> happens to the best of us. Um, but I think if the wools are bothering you and things are itching, uh, who knows, it could be the chemicals that are being used, but it might be worth a try if you are having problems. But again, this is Jessica and uh, she is wearing the Snowberry cardigan. I love this episode. It was really fun to listen to Jessica talk about this design. Obviously, it was, you know, it's her own concept, and I'm sure she worked long and hard in getting it to this stage, which is it's ready for test knitters at this point. Although it's been out a while, I'll have to look at the date of it. But um, the Snowberry cardigan is really beautiful with the cabling. It has bobble stitches on it. Um, and what's wonderful is that she gives you a lot of help. She has three videos 
that I will give you the information on that you can watch specifically for the Snowberry cardigan to help you uh, fit it, to help you assemble it, and even to help you um, do the crochet bobbles. She uses crochet for the bobble stitches. But what's really cute here is if you look down in the lower left corner, um, her daughter is modeling the Glow cardigan. This is another design by Jessica that hadn't been released yet at the time she did this video. It's almost like a mini of the um, of the cardigan that Jessica is wearing. It's really, really adorable. Uh, and But that pattern is also available. And again, that one is called the Glow. I don't have the details on it, but you could easily see it if you go to um, Jessica's Ravelry page or to Jessica's website. Here's the pattern information on the Snowberry cardigan. Again, Snowberry by Jessica McDonald. It is published in Jessica McDonald's Ravelry store, uh, and she also does have a website. Um, the yarn again is the Bare Naked Wool's Stone Soup DK, and I, I went on the Bare Naked Wool's website because I was curious, and that is the recent photo of the colorways available. Um, which are pretty. I think they would fit that design very, very well. Uh, and again, she has it sized quite nicely. It's graded from 33 all the way to 63. So again, these cardigans look great when they um, are done in the correct size and they feel great because, you know, they're not opening all the time in the middle. They're comfortable to wear. I think this one looks so cozy and so beautiful. So that is the pattern information. And here is the episode information. So to get to that episode in particular where Jessica is modeling and talking about her finished object, the Snowberry cardigan, you would go to the February 2021 full colon Snowberry and already behind on Woodland Ramble. I think Woodland Ramble was another um, series of designs that she was working on at the time. But then there are three tutorial videos, uh, Snowberry Construction Details, Snowberry Choose Your Best Size, Double Crochet Bobble Tutorial. Um, and don't forget, and I'm going to do this here quickly, if you want to see all of her videos that she has to date, and I'll guess she has been on since 2017, so she's got quite a few. Um, if you, I'm kind of sloppy here. If you uh, click on the name of the podcaster, Jessica McDonald, on any video on YouTube, it'll take you to the channel page. On the channel page, you'll see a list of the videos. And you can click that and see what, from the very first video that they posted, and um, you know, based on the titles or based on the time period, maybe find other uh, finished objects that you're interested in. Or, or actually, I have done that in... I think on the um, many of the videos that I love, I've watched every one of them. I went back to the very first beginning and watched the uh, every one of the podcasts. Um, but also, if you are on the website, on the video, and have the video playing, and you want to see the show notes, then you would click on the title of the video, and that would then open up the show notes. Um, you can do that on your PC or sometimes on your, you do that if you're on your phone. If you're on a PC, then you can just click the more and it'll open up the show notes. So um, click around and uh, if you're new to watching knitting videos or new to YouTube, that might help you a lot. So again, Jessica McDonald, uh, since February 2017, uh, that's not a lot of views for being on that long, so she may not have that many videos on there. I don't know. I have to look. But she does have a newsletter, and if you go to her website, Jessica M. McDonaldDesigns.com, you can sign up for her website. Uh, excuse me. You can sign up for her newsletter, and you can really, um, if you do like her designs, you'll get to see them as soon as they're they're available. So anyway, Jessica McDonald. And 
the snowberry cardigan. Okay, this is our final uh, cardigan that is being featured as a finished object. And this podcaster is Veronica Lindberg, but on YouTube, she goes by the name of Kika. And the name of her podcast is Kutavakika Podcast on YouTube. So Kutavakika, and I do love her. I've watched all of her videos. Um, Kutova, I looked it up, I googled it, I actually put it in Word and translated it. In Finnish, it means uh, weaving, and kika means giggle in Finnish. So it's kind of like happy weaving, I don't know. Anyways, not everything translates, but Veronica Lindbergh is a knitwear designer. She's extremely fashionable, very fashionable, very pretty, a lot of fun to watch. And the podcast that I'm featuring here is one where you can knit this beautiful cardigan. She takes you step by step through knitting the cinnamon twist cardigan, her own design. Uh, it is on Ravelry. It is available, quite available, um, but it's so pretty. I her her knitwear is so feminine and so pretty. Um, I just love watching her. I love watching her podcasts, and I am planning on knitting everything that she designs. <laughs> That's pretty ambitious, but maybe, maybe not. Kika started her YouTube um, channel as a photography channel. So she is a photographer, and um, I think you can see that in how she obviously, <laughs> the photographs she uses on her podcasts and to model her, her uh, knitwear. But also it's, it probably just gives her this amazing eye for design as well. Um, this is the Cinnamon Twist sweater in white. And then she also shows it in that salmon color. Um, but uh, I think it's so pretty. It's so feminine. Right down to the buttons. Here you can see just a little bit on, um, it's a tutorial video that she does. But it's not, you know, dry or boring in any way. It's really helpful and a lot of fun. But she shows you how to do cabling. Uh, and really explains it in detail using charts and pictures and uh, illustrations. Um, so I have never really done cables, not to this extent, and I would really like to learn how. So this would be a lot of fun. One of these days I'm going to get around to um, firing up this video and just doing it. Here's the pattern information for the cinnamon twist cardigan. So Kika's uh, real name, or alias, I don't know what you'd say. I guess Kika is the alias and Veronica Lindberg is the name. Um, you can get it on in her Ravelry store and she does have many, many beautiful designs there. If you don't wanna do this one, yeah, I'm sure there's one that you will love to do. Um, she has a yarn suggestion. Again, she is in Helsinki. Uh, I'm sure you could find a similar yarn. It's silk mohair and uh, sardness garnacos. Maybe they're available here in the States if you want to really be a purist and get exactly the same thing. But anyway, this is the uh, pattern information. And here's how you get to this episode. Again, it's a tutorial type episode. Um, it's a knit with kut. Kuto Vakika, but actually she just uses Kuto Vakika as her podcast name. The name of the, the title of the episode is How to Knit a Chunky Cardigan with Cables. This goes back to September of 2021. It's not that old. Um, and she has been podcasting since 2018. As I said, she originally was a pho photography uh, podcaster. And, but she has over 10 million views, and I think uh, I don't know, the lady just has a lot of style. So Veronica Lindberg, the Kutovakika store on Ravelry, and uh, 
just delightful. I have watched every one of her knitting episodes. So let's, um, I think that's it. That wraps up the cardigans. So now we can go on to our final little chit chat here, and that is on a tutorial um, that might help you with converting a pullover to a cardigan or simply in helping you fit your cardigans better. So this is Roxanne Richardson. Uh, she lives in Minneapolis, Minnesota in the U.S. and she's a certified master hand knitter, a certified level two knitting teacher, and she also writes technical knitting articles for several publications. Um, she has hundreds of knitting tutorials on YouTube. She's very good about posting videos regularly every week. Uh, she does live events and Q&As as well. And she also designs knitwear. But I, I did go to her Ravelry page and I didn't see a whole lot in the design thing. I think she's so business, excuse me, she's so busy teaching and she's so busy um, making her tutorials that I don't know when she would have time to design. But anyway, uh, so what Roxanne has available, what she has available particularly for uh, this category, which is we're talking about cardigans, is she has a tutorial. It's not very long. It's only about, you know, under 15 minutes where she teaches us how to convert a pullover pattern into a cardigan. Uh, her explanation on the measurements, her cute little samples that she made. Um, I think it's awesome. She really shows you how to, you know, where to add some fabric uh, in order so that it overlaps and buttons, how to add that fabric, um, you know, soup to nuts, how you would do it. And I think what's really cool about this is if you have a favorite um, pullover, and, you know, like all of us, I have, you know, a couple patterns that I've knit several times, crocheted several times. Um, you, you could actually take a favorite um, pullover and convert it to a cardigan so that um, most of the design, most of the color work, uh, the fit is uh, kind of already figured out. So anyway, this could be real helpful. Here's how to find this episode in particular, uh, Roxanne Richardson podcast on YouTube, how to convert a pullover pattern into a cardigan, forward slash, forward slash, Technique Tuesday. Um, Roxanne Richardson, over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, she has been uh, doing YouTube videos, tutorials in particular since 2007, has over 12 million views. and. Uh, if you, again, as I was saying before, if you click on the name of the podcast or if you click on her, uh, on Roxanne Richardson, the name of the podcast, it will take you to the channel page and you'll be able to see all of her videos. And her titles are quite explanatory, self-explanatory, so you'll know exactly what you're going to learn if you watch the video. So again, hopefully this will help you take your favorite pullover and turn it into a cardigan. So that wraps up this episode of Patterns and Podcasts for Knitters. Again, we focused on cardigans. Uh, we had a little inspiration by seeing, if you do go to the video about the Palm Magazine, I think you'll like that. Um, but hopefully this will help you. This will help you be introduced to some new podcasters on YouTube or maybe to revisit podcasters that you haven't visited for a while. So that's it for me. and. Um, once again, please use the comments. If you can uh, comment on what you like about particular podcasts or even suggest other podcasts, that's great. I think um, we all like to help each other in the knitting business. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And here's a final look at our um, podcasters that we featured this time. And also a little reminder about the comment giveaway. Uh, we will look for the most helpful comment 
where um, you know it's really beneficial to some other people who may be viewing these podcasts or you know reading the comments. And um, again, a two-month premium subscription to YouTube. I am a big fan of spending a half a skein of yarn a month so that I can, you know, save videos I love and have all the features that the premium channel offers. I'm not, I don't work for YouTube. I just am sharing with you if you really get a lot of these pod, of podcasts that it might be helpful to you. Um, so a trial uh, subscription just to check it out if you choose that or equal value in yarn and It'll be interesting to see what gets picked, and I will share that with you. So anyway, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.